Well, good morning, friends. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I wanted to share with you today some words of encouragement from Scripture, from Romans chapter 8. Uh, I'm not sure about you. I'm, I'm sure you're ready uh, for the quarantine to be over. I'm ready for things to get back to normal, really. I, I can't wait to uh, be able to go out to eat, uh, to meet some friends, to uh, just hang out at a restaurant, to have them over to play games. Uh, I can't wait for us to gather back together as a church, for me to um, get to pat somebody on the back to give them a hug, to uh, shake their hands. I'm excited to see people. Really, the getting back to normal, I think, is the, the part that we're, we're longing for. Um, you know, when you think about back to normal, uh, you think about the different restrictions that have happened in history. So what's the longest going restriction uh, that we have in history? Uh, it began in Genesis chapter 3. Uh, so you go to Genesis chapter 3, you have Adam and Eve and their fall. And there's actually a restriction or a curse that's put on creation. Uh, it says that cursed is the ground because of you. And so all creation goes into this um, nature of restriction, uh, that it can't be all that it was or all that it wanted to be. Uh, what it was, maybe you could say, during the Garden of Eden, it's been now restricted from that. So Paul uses that as an illustration, talking about how creation is actually longing to become normal again, that it's not in its normal state. It, it wasn't created for thistles and thorns and um, to be a difficult uh, place to bear fruit. And so it's in a state of restriction right now, but it's longing for the day that it will be taken back uh, to be normal. So this is in Romans 8 now, Romans eight nineteen through 23. It says this, for the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subject to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it, in hope that creation itself will be set free from its bondage to corruption and obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in pains of childbirth until now, and not only the creation, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit. We groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for adoptions as sons the redemption of our body. Now think about this. It's a beautiful time, uh, it, it just in the seasons, for us to remember what it looks like for redemption. Think about how uh, right now in springtime, nature is waking up, so to speak, from the dead of winter. I was in McDonald County this last week, and if you live there, you've probably driven out Highway F, where F ends and it just turns into a county road. You, you kind of dip down into a creek bottom there, Buffalo Creek, and there's a wet weather spring on the right side of the road. And uh, if it's just rained, that water will pool up and wash under the road. And then it runs right next to the road for a while. It makes this wet weather creek that uh, the water will be running over these boulders and making shoots and waterfalls. There's a dead tree that has fallen with moss growing on it. The dogwoods were in bloom and the wildflowers were blooming and blossoming around it. And as you come around the corner, the sun just shines perfectly through uh, the trees onto that creek, onto this uh, log with the moss. And as I drove that, I, I was just excited about uh, this day of redemption, thinking if that's what it looks like for spring, whenever nature wakes up from the dead of winter, imagine how beautiful it will be whenever nature wakes up from the curse of sin. Whenever nature is redeemed, and, and he makes this new heaven and new earth. Imagine the beauty that we'll behold. And then Paul says, it, and it's not just creation that's longing for that, but we ourselves are longing for that. Our, our bodies are groaning for this day of redemption. Listen, friends, I, I can't wait to see you again. I, I can't wait to hug your neck, to ask how you're doing. But even more than that, I long for the day of redemption when Christ will come for his church and, and he'll redeem, he'll make things right. He'll make them, he'll remove the, the restriction of the, the curse of sin and we'll be able to live with him in eternity. Think about that. It, there's the old song, what a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see. It'll be a beautiful day of redemption and I hope that you're ready for it. If you're not, I'd love to talk to you about that. In fact, just this last week, Somebody emailed the church and said, we'd love to talk um, to Brother Jared or to one of the staff. And we got to share with them last night just the hope we have in Christ. And 
Uh, our church wants to be available for that. So if you need someone to talk to and you're not sure if you're ready for that day, we'd love to have that conversation with you. As far as some ministry updates, uh, Jamie's still sending stuff out to the kids and preparing for uh, kids Sunday school on Sunday. And Michael's still meeting with the youth and, of course, leading us in worship. Uh, we're excited about this Sunday. We'll do that again where we'll have a um, kind of a release party where the, the videos will be released at 1030 on Sunday morning. So we'd love for you to join us on Facebook Live and on YouTube um, for our worship service this Sunday morning. Of course, we'll also have a Sunday school class. If you're interested in attending that, you can email the church and we'll get you the instructions on how you can join that, uh, that online class. Uh, and then also we wanted to tell you about uh, the new ministry we've started, uh, which is Hope for the Hurting. Our goal is for those people who have been especially financially, um, they, they feel the burden of what's happened with the coronavirus uh, financially. Uh, our church wants to help in that. We've set aside two weeks worth uh, of the offerings. In fact, you could give to that right now. We're putting that any offering that we receive until April 12th is going directly into our missions fund that will go to support our missionaries, our ongoing benevolence, and then this new ministry we started that we called um, Hope for the Hurting. And we, we want to buy $100 grocery gift cards for those people that are struggling financially and at least relieve the burden um, of their groceries. So there'll be a local a uh, grocer uh, gift card here in our community. And then we just want to send those to those people. So if you have somebody that you know that's hurting, or if you yourself are hurting and our church could minister to you, we just name, need a name, a phone number, and an address. And if you can send that to us, uh, we'll send that gift card to them. And, and uh, Or if you need help just getting groceries, you please contact us. We would love to help deliver those to you. And uh, we just want to minister well until the day of redemption comes. We want to be found faithful. Church, we love you. We hope you're having a wonderful day. Let me say a word of prayer for you. Father, would you continue to lead us and guide us? And Father, we truly do eagerly await the day of redemption when you'll remove the curse of sin, when you'll rapture your church, when you'll make this new heaven and new earth. And Father, we can't imagine the beauty. Father, thank you for giving us glimpses of that this spring as we see creation wake up. Father, we long for the day that you'll redeem our bodies. We love you, Father, and we, we ask that you'd find us faithful until you return. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. We love you, church.